Greetings to all God's saints. Welcome to Save by Faith. And the message that God put on my heart today is all about believing in God's word, believing in God's promise. Um, God guided me to Luke chapter 1, verse 37. That's because what God says will always come true. So everything that God has told you that he will do will come true. And this is all about the coming birth of Jesus. If God said you will give birth just like Mary, it don't matter if you're a virgin. It don't matter if God said you will walk, you will walk. It's always it's, you just have to believe it's all about faith. That's the word of the year, faith of the century, faith. Okay, you're from the bloodline of David. You're from the bloodline of Jacob. Okay, and even in the Bible it says you don't have to be related by blood to have this promise, this anointing. Verse 33 in Luke. Chapter one, the son of the most high God will rule forever over his people. They are from the family line of Jacob. That kingdom will never end. And that is proof. Living proof. That what God says is the truth. 34. How can this happen? Mary asked the angel. I'm a virgin. 35. The angel answered. The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the most high God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the son of God. God will make him king. God will be very pleased with you. The Lord has blessed you in a special way. OK. Yeah, you hear the horn, the trumpets. The Lord has blessed you in a special way. Do not feel bad about your anointing, about your discipline, about your talent, about your gifts, about your health. Okay, your habits, your healthy habits. Elizabeth said to Mary, so when Mary went to go tell Elizabeth about this message that the archangel Gabriel gave to him. And it's crazy because I gave my testimony about witchcraft and and tarot and things of that nature. Now, I never um, did no spells and stuff like that, but I did used to do tarot and God delivered me from that. And they actually use a lot of God's numbers. Those numbers are scriptures. Those angels are God's angels, not the devil's angels. Okay. And so when God sent Gabriel to Mary to deliver this message to her, she told Elizabeth like, girl, why this angel came to me telling me I'm going to have a baby. And you know, Elizabeth, she didn't even know she was pregnant because she was too old to have a baby. And God told her she was going to have one. And guess what? She was six months pregnant. Okay. And so when the baby inside of her confirmed that to her, like, Look, look, the baby will tell you what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like this person is anointed. This person is gifted. You know, you know, always pay attention to your babies. You know what I'm saying? They know who they want to be around, don't want to be around, you know. So with that being said, Mary let her know in verse uh, 42 in a loud voice. She told her, God has blessed you more than other women. Don't feel bad about this. Okay. If you're a man as well, don't feel bad about how much God has blessed you because you believe in God's promise. That is why God has blessed you and blessed as a and blessed the child that you will have. And Mary wants to know, like, but why is God so kind to me? Because you are so kind to him and to them. The ones who love you and the ones who don't. But you understand why they don't just as much as Jesus did, because they lack wisdom. They not they lack knowledge. OK, they are a source of their environment. OK. A receiver of. What it is that we have been taught and for all those who have been there and have been transformed and delivered from those toxic learned behaviors 
we can have a more humbled approach to the way that people treat you, okay, and treat us. Because I'm not excluded from this conversation, okay, amen. You are a woman of God. And God has blessed you for that. You have believed that the Lord will keep his promise to you. And that's why you are so blessed. God, whatever God said to you in your dreams, in your visions, during in, in your sacred space, during your prayers and meditation, believe it. You will be healed. You will find a cure. You have to start talking to yourself right. And I pray for um, Sister Ebony. She commented on my last video that that she will be able to allow Christ to deliver her from things that no longer serve her and him because we are one with Christ, the body of Christ. And when we hold on to that, well, we know that everything that God promised us will be true. You know, we have so many people telling us this and telling us that, oh, this will never happen. Just downgrading our promise, downgrading our blessings that we start to self-sabotage our own anointing and our own blessings and wonder. You know, we've been so used to doubt and fear. That when God is presenting something to you, you run from it instead of receiving it. Because we're so used to receiving the negative, we can't accept the positive. So used to seeing other people having their results, but you are not that person. You are a different breed. Okay? You are from the tribe of Christ. Okay? And there's nothing higher than the most high. Okay? Just like in Matthew 4, verse 4, man should not live on only bread alone, but should also live on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Because you know that you don't need anything but the word. Because the word is true and is promised to you. So that is what God wanted me to share with you today. <laughs> I hope you have a blessed weekend. Until next time, through Christ we unite, stay aligned with divine minds.